So I have two things to say on prep just while we're on air. Um, there are still, because <laughs> this is what you can do for prep for women and people who are not gay men, um, there are still ring fence places. A lot of trial spaces are full to men who have sex with men, so that's gay and bisexual men. Um, but there are still some ring fence spaces for uh, women and other people. So it's the first thing. Also, I think a really, really key important thing that we as gay men can do to help uh, support prep for women is that w we have a burden of responsibility to try and shape the narrative so while certain publications and outlets like the Daily Mail for example and I will name and shame them while they paint this as a gay man's lifestyle drug for gay men and they shouldn't be given it because our lifestyles are wrong and our sex is wrong and we're deviant and all of the plethora of other shaming connotations from that while outlets and while people compound that narrative the people who are we're doing an injustice to most of all, are women. Yeah. So.